another record boost for the U.S. stock market on Thursday. A source who was briefed on the status of China-U.S. trade negotiations said the United States was willing to suspend tariffs on $160 billion worth of Chinese goods and roll back existing tariffs. If Beijing would agree to buy $50 billion worth of U.S. agricultural goods in 2020, double what it bought in 2017 before the trade conflict started. When asked about the news, the Chinese foreign ministry told reporters to look at how the markets have responded, before saying that any deal must be fair and balanced. You should turn to the Ministry of Commerce for U.S.-China trade issues. But the boost in U.S. stocks market shows it's mutually beneficial to the people of both countries to reach an agreement in the trade tensions. It's also what the global community wishes for. We are committed to resolving the issues, but the deal must be mutually beneficial and be based on mutual respect. Meanwhile, during a large-scale discussion on diplomacy in Beijing, the Chinese foreign minister also stressed the country's willingness to bring the trade tensions to an end in a peaceful way, but that it would never succumb to bullying tactics. The differences between multilateralism and unilateralism are more acute. Protectionism and populism are surging, while power politics and bullying are rampant everywhere. Under such a background, the competition between major powers is obviously warming up. Global governance is struggling. For China-U.S. relations, we are willing to resolve the existing contradictions and differences through dialogue on equality and mutual respect. Although doubts still remain about whether the two sides can come to a truce before a new round of tape for tap tariffs takes effect on Sunday. One thing is certain. It must be the common wish for many that an issue which has rattled markets and businesses, large and small, for the past two years is finally put to bed. Zhang Zhuying, CGTN.